People taking credit for your work is never a fun time, especially if those people are either your team leads or up your management chain. I'm about to go over some strategies that you can start implementing now if you see someone trying to take credit for your work. To start off, this is an incredibly nuanced social intelligence topic. So if someone's trying to take credit for your work, depending on their proximity and the reporting structure, so if you have a peer trying to take credit for your work, that's a much different situation than if you have maybe a team lead or your direct manager trying to take credit for your work, especially if you are not on board with them taking credit for your work or haven't already had a discussion about who's getting credit for what before they go and do it. So this is an incredibly nuanced topic here, but the real thing you need to start off with here is to detach your opinion from your identity. I talk about this in a variety of videos, in a variety of different aspects, but you need to make sure that your opinion and identity are not intertwined when it comes to all of these challenges, when it comes to people taking credit for your work. The first thing I would do if someone was taking credit for my work is really figure out if I have a problem with that. So is this something that moves the needle or is this busy work that doesn't really move the needle and I don't really care? So you need to have the awareness, so have the emotional intelligence to have the awareness to know how you feel and how you stand on this other person taking credit for your work. Once you know where you stand on this person taking credit for your work, you need to have the social intelligence to either confront them about it or bring awareness to it because it's possible that they have no idea that they're taking credit for your work or that they're overstepping. It could be something akin to Hanlon's razor, which is never attribute to malice, that which is most likely explained by stupidity. So they could just be not paying attention to you which is another thing that you could just bring awareness to and maybe the problem will just solve itself. If it doesn't solve itself with a little bit of awareness, you need to have the social intelligence to figure out what's going on. Is this a one-off occurrence where this person's trying to take credit for your work, but it's a super important thing that's gonna get them a promotion over you? That's gonna be a challenging thing for you to try to deal with. So again, this is an incredibly nuanced topic. I don't have a silver bullet for you here, but what I'm trying to get you to do is to have more awareness to what's going on. Is there a greater play being had in the background with this person taking credit for your work? Are they just not paying attention and sweeping up their work with your work? When it comes down to it, depending on the proximity to you, so if it's your manager or a team leader, someone in your chain taking credit for your work, that's gonna be a much different challenge than a direct peer. Because a direct peer, you would hope that your relationship with your manager, you could at least tactfully bring up that you actually did this work. This would also be a great opportunity for you to use your professional social network to figure out how to deal with the problem that you're going through. So you hopefully have some people in your network that are more experienced, perhaps even know the players involved in your particular situation that can help you to better maneuver and try to solve this problem with the person taking credit for your work. Now, if you don't have this professional social network, this comes with a reciprocal relationship where you help people with their problems, you give them gratitude and say thanks in an open public forum to say, hey, this person helped us out when we were in a pinch. This is great, it was perfect. That's gonna win you some brownie points for that person and they're gonna take your call when you call. So maybe you can go call one of those people and say, hey, this is happening over here. How would you deal with this? Or what, what do you think I should do here? And then get some opinions. And this is how you raise your social intelligence. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. So this will not be an overnight, you're just gonna magically become a gigabrain when it comes to social intelligence. So it could just be something where the person's taking credit for your work and doesn't even really appreciate that they're taking the credit for your work and not giving you the appropriate credit that you deserve. Have you had a situation like this happen to you at work? You should drop me a comment below on how you handled it and if these tips that I'm giving you would have helped you in that situation. The final thing you could do in this situation where someone's taking credit for your work is to see that it's happening, acknowledge that it's happening, not blow up at the person, try to grease the skids so this doesn't happen in the future, and then just move forward. The juice might not be worth the squeeze to go cause a big scene over someone taking credit for this work, and you have to have the social intelligence to know when the fight is worth having. So sometimes the fight's not worth having and you need to have some acceptance. I know that's not fun to hear. I can appreciate that. You won't have the emotional capacity to deal with all of the trials and tribulations that are possible for you to deal with at work. And sometimes you just need to let things happen. 
Now, having the awareness to acknowledge that, that you're going to just accept that, which I know sounds a bit obtuse, but the fact that you see it and are saying, yep, I'm not happy with that, but I won't let that happen again, that can be very freeing to help you move forward and not get hung up or start having very negative feelings towards that person who's done you wrong. Now, obviously, the person who's done you wrong, you need to have the social facilities to not allow that to happen again. So this is where we get into, okay, now you need to be more tactful where you're taking credit for your work in a more open way to where that person is precluded from taking credit for your work. Or you could even ask questions, and this gets into, again, more nuanced social intelligence here. You could ask questions that you know but you also are aware of that they don't know, and you could offer those up as kind of softball questions. And if they blow up in that person's face when apparently they did the work, that's gonna look a bit suspicious. I hope it doesn't get to that point for you, but you just need to think outside the box a little bit here and have some awareness, have some acceptance, detach your opinion from our identity, and move forward. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.